Boom. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. That's okay. Soulmates. Hey guys, it's Jojo and Jordan. Hello. Welcome to our home. And we are currently Welcome. wedding planning. We are. We're wedding planning with the knot. So they sent us a little mystery box of questions. Ooh, juicy details, wedding details. We're gonna pull and just answer some questions. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm going first. So you're asking me first. Yeah. I'm nervous. Oh, this is a good one to start. Who is your celebrity crush? Oh, you guys, I feel like Getting this- me jealous before the wedding. Okay. <laughs> My celebrity crush. I'm gonna go Vince Vaughn, mm. personality-wise, because I just, I love me some Vince. Okay, Mike. Just drop my turn, okay, let's okay, move on. Okay, 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 okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> what wedding trend do you hope stays around forever? Ooh, I hope. What are the trends? What are the trends? I don't know if this is a trend, but I love an abundance of twinkle lights at an outdoor wedding, especially at night. What is your favorite part of being engaged? We've had long enough to think about to it. To you? Uh, are you, engaged to, to, are you engaged to Bradley Cooper? What my, is going on? In my head, maybe. I mean, just like doing life together. You know, we got, we kind of met weirdly. And so we weirdly. met, got engaged, and then moved in together. So we've had five years of like living together, but I've, that's been my favorite part, is living together, doing life together, um, wedding planning with you has been fun. Which part of wedding planning did oh, you enjoy the most? Easy. Picking out the desserts. It's really the only thing I care about. Which part of your wedding day are you most excited for? The first look. But we're not doing a first look. So it's like the first time I see you, which will be when you're walking down the aisle. I know what Jordan's gonna do. Cause I know I know my boy right here. This is what I think. You're gonna have the biggest just like grin on your face. Yeah. If you could only serve one cocktail at your wedding, what would it be? Ooh, a Moscow mule. Boom. Yeah. You guys, Jordan. How did you know you were in love? You know, we met on a TV show, so disclaimer, this is not normal life per se. Uh, I feel like on the show, I didn't plan to tell you I was in love with you. I, we were in Buenos Aires yeah. at dinner, mm -hmm. and we were just, I don't know, it was just, it was the conversation, the build up, the friendship was there, the attraction was there. Never felt that way about someone. And, I, and it was just, I, I knew it was love, and Aww. I didn't know how it happened, and, so I said it. I wanted to say it back so bad in that moment, and I didn't know that that's how I would feel until you said it. And then when we went to hometown dates after I met your family, and just it was like the deal. So that's how I knew. Ooh, this is good. What are three things you cannot live without? Oh my gosh! Well, coffee now. I used to hate coffee until I met this guy. Now he's turned me into an addict. Okay, so coffee, my dogs, my dogs, and the dogs and you. Yeah. I'm gonna put you yeah. in there with the yeah. dogs, all my boys. Sweatpants, gotta have sweatpants. Like it's just, I live in them, yeah, because I you like could, to be comfortable. Yeah, that's true. I couldn't, I couldn't live without them, then I would not have pants on. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, um, Bean and cheese burrito? I don't know, oh. I don't know. I don't know, maybe? Breakfast burritos, Hot sauce? Oh, breakfast burritos. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's it. What is one item from your wedding registry you cannot live without and will use the most? The, the espresso Presso coffee maker. machine. Yeah. Can't live without Can't it. Can't live without it, yeah. no. That was easy. Yeah. Okay, your turn. When was the last time you sent a handwritten letter? A month ago. What? Two months ago. When? What about you? I don't know. That's I used bad. To have a, I used to have a pen pal in like elementary school. We'll get ready because we're gonna have to write a lot of thank you cards for everybody. Who helped you pull the wedding together? Unless you're an awesome planner. Even then. Even there's then. There's just so much. That get you a don't wedding think planner. Of, like... Because I just I am so grateful for all for all the help that they've done. Yeah. No doubt. What's one thing you wish you had started earlier when wedding planning? This is good. Oh, guys. Um. <laughs> I wish I would have started my guest list earlier. She was on me for months, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's easy. And you sit down, you run through it, and it's like, like oh, I forgot that guy. And what is the best piece of advice you have received? It's not going to matter at the end of the day about the oh, little details of what color napkins you chose or what ribbon is on your invitations, although it's very important. At the end of the day, the most important thing is how you felt and to not put so much pressure and stress on yourself for every little thing to be perfect yeah. um, because at the end of the day, it's going to be perfect. That's it. <laughs> Q&A from The Knot. Thanks for sending those over. Hopefully you guys had fun, learned a few things about us. Vince Vaughn, I'll see you there. 
you got an invite. <laughs>